Donald Trump has described media coverage of his summit with Kim Jong-un almost treasonous as he embarked on a customary tirade at his critics in a TV interview. The president boasted that he was seen as a world hero in Japan because of the wonderful agreement he reached with the North Korean leader two weeks ago. It's a shame that the fake news covers it the way they do, Mr. Trump told Mike Huckabee, the father of his press secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders and former governor of Arkansas. It's honestly, really, almost treasonous you want to know the truth. If you listen to the mainstream media it's almost like I lost the negotiation. To hear the mainstream media, that was the thing that most angered me. Mr. Trump has previously tweeted that our country's biggest enemy is the fake news as he attacked coverage of the summit by NBC and CNN. Asked during the appearance on Huckabee's own show if he trusted Kim Jong-un, the president replied, Yes, I think I've had a very good relationship, we have a very good chemistry, you know what that means. He's looking to do the right thing. Look at all the things we've had, there's been no missiles fired, there's been no rockets fired, Japan thinks I'm like a world hero over there. The interview was aired on Saturday night, a day after Mr. Trump officially declared North Korea still posed an unusual and extraordinary threat to justify continued sanctions. It contradicted his earlier claims that there is no longer a nuclear threat from North Korea. U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis is expected to raise North Korean denuclearization when he visits Beijing this week as tensions rise over China's military presence in the South China Sea. Singapore Summit, historic first meeting between Trump and Kim Jong-un 20 show all Singapore Summit, historic first meeting between Trump and Kim Jong-un 1 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim leave following their historic meeting AFP Getty 2 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim sign a document committing to peace between their nations, amongst other things EPA 3 20th Mr. Trump holds up a document that both he and Mr. Kim have signed AFP Getty 4 20th the two leaders reach out to shake hands for the first time AP 5 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim shake hands as they meet for the first time Reuters 6 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim walk off stage following their historic meeting Reuters 7 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim take a stroll after their meeting on June 12th Reuters 8 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim interrupt their stroll to talk to the media AP 9 20th Mr. Kim and Mr. Trump look out over a balcony at the Capella Hotel, where they held their meeting on June 12, Reuters 10 20th Mr. Trump takes questions at the press conference following his meeting with with Mr. Kim AP 11 20th Mr. Trump appreciates the crowd in the press conference following his meeting with Mr. Kim Getty 12 20th Mr. Trump travels to the Astana ahead of the summit with Kim Jong-un on June 12, Reuters 13 20th Kim Jong-un travels to the Astana ahead of the summit with President Trump on June 12, Reuters 14 20th Mr. Kim poses for a photo with Singapore's finance minister Vivian Balakrishnan and education minister Ong Yikung ahead of the summit with Mr. Trump Twitter Reuters 15 20th Mr. Trump shakes hands with Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong meeting on Monday June 11th in the Astana, Singapore's presidential palace AP 16 20th. At a working lunch on Monday, Singapore's Prime Minister surprised Mr. Trump with a birthday cake in early celebration of his 72nd birthday later in the week EPA 17 20th U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo answers questions about the summit at a press briefing in Singapore on Monday, June 11 Getty 18 20th U.S. President Donald Trump arrives at the Paya Libre Air Base in Singapore on June 10, two days prior to his summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un Reuters 19 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim met on Tuesday, June 12 in the Capella Hotel hotel on the island resort of Sentosa, just off the south coast of Singapore AFP Getty 20 20th Mr. Trump boards Air Force One following the summit AFP Getty 1 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim leave following their historic meeting AFP Getty 2 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim sign a document committing to peace between their nations, amongst other things EPA 3 20th Mr. Trump holds up a document that Boti and Mr. Kim have signed AFP Getty 4 20th The two leaders reach out to shake hands for the first time AP 5 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim shake hands as they meet for the first time Reuters 6 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim walk off stage following their historic meeting Reuters 7 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim take a stroll after their meeting on June 12th Reuters 8 20th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim interrupt their stroll to talk to the media AP 9 20th Mr. 
Mr. Kim and Mr. Trump look out over a balcony at the Capella Hotel, where they held their meeting on June 12. Reuters 1020th Mr. Trump takes questions at the press conference following his meeting with, with Mr. Kim AP 1120th Mr. Trump appreciates the crowd in the press conference following his meeting with Mr. Kim Getty 1220th Mr. Trump travels to the Astana ahead of the summit with Kim Jong-un on June 12th Reuters 1320th Kim Jong-un travels to the Astana ahead of the summit with President Trump on June 12th Reuters 1420th Mr. Kim poses for a photo with Singapore's Finance Minister Vivian Balkrishnan and Education Minister Anya Kung ahead of the summit with Mr. Trump Twitter Reuters 1520th Mr. Trump shakes hands with Singapore Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong meeting on Monday June 11th in the Astana, Singapore's Presidential Palace AP 1620 at a working lunch on Monday, Singapore's Prime Minister surprised Mr. Trump with a birthday cake in early celebration of his 72nd birthday later in the week EPA 1720th US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo answers questions about the summit at a press briefing in Singapore. On Monday, June 11, Getty 1820th US President Donald Trump arrives at the Paya Libre Air Base in Singapore on June 10, two days prior to his summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un Reuters 1920th Mr. Trump and Mr. Kim met on Tuesday, June 12 in the Capella Hotel on the island resort of Sentosa, just off the south coast of Singapore AFP Getty 2020th Mr. Trump boards Air Force One following the summit AFP Getty Mr. Trump also used the interview to defend his policies on immigration, trade tariffs and moving the US Embassy in Jerusalem. Jerusalem as he again boasted of his achievements in office. He claimed the immigration crisis was the Democrats' fault as he insisted his opponents wanted crime to pour into the country, adding, we need safety at the border. We need the wall. The wall is going to happen. His comments were echoed by Mike Huckabee who was yesterday accused of racism after tweeting a picture of MS-13 gang members and joking they were part of the Democratic Campaign Committee to take back control of Congress. Mr. Trump also boasted that he had ignored the pleas of other world leaders not to move the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem, adding, it actually got to a point where I said, call me back in a week. He then claimed that his tariffs on steel, solar panels and washing machines had already led to companies in the U.S. expanding their production. The interview concluded with Mr. Trump announcing, a lot of people are saying we've done more than any president ever in the first 500 days.